Today I'm joined by Leila Zarugi, the Special Representative of the Secretary General for Children and Armed Conflict. Ms. Zarugi is here to brief you on the annual report of the Secretary General on Children and Armed Conflict. Ms. Zarugi will brief you and afterwards we'll have time for some questions. Thank you, uh, Madam Zarugi. Uh, uh, in fact, I want to ask about uh, specifics. Uh, who uh, is committing the abuses and the violations that you cataloged uh, in, uh, in your uh, just uh, this uh, uh, press conference? Uh, which parties are committing? The, what is the, uh, the role of the government in these abuses? What are the, the roles of the uh, oppositions, uh, different parties in the oppositions? Uh, what are uh, the role of the uh, uh, outside parties like uh, the coming from Lebanon, who's uh, mm -hmm. they're becoming I part of this? Syria. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks. I think that you know that in the report we have already parties that are listed for violation. We have the national forces, we have Shabiha and Muhabarat, and we have the FSA listed for recruitment, the government for maiming and killing, and for attacks on schools and hospitals. So I think for us, we, where we have the information and we can consider that this is a trend, we already uh, listed the parties involved in the violation. And the two belligerent in Syria, the two parties, the government, and the government, of course, assume the big responsibility as a government, but also the, uh, uh, the armed groups committing uh, specifically uh, uh, recruitment and use, they were listed for that. So for us, we, that we consider one, we are calling, and this report is also an appeal to all parties that can make a difference and can stop the violation will be, uh, is we try to reach these parties, either member of the Security Council and they, they can make a difference, also uh, uh, neighboring country and regional uh, 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 party that have an interest or are involved, are, are si supporting one or another parties. And we would like to see, uh, first of all, the war to end, but also uh, that everyone can reach to, uh, uh, to the parties supporting to stop and to take into consideration the consequences for the civilian population and children and to stop the violation and to take precautionary measures because war has its, its rules. And it's not that you do or what you want, the way you want. You have to respect uh, the standards that the international humanitarian law uh, uh, impose to parties in conflict. Otherwise, you are committing war crimes. And that's why parties are listed and mentioned in the report. What are the Lebanese, the, the Lebanese parties' role in these violations? For the moment, this report covers 2012, and you know that this is a new trend. I'm going to the field, and I will see, I'm going to Lebanon if uh, uh, there is violation that affected children that could be uh, 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 identified as committed by, by the Lebanese uh, 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 parties. So this is something that uh, we will work on. But what we mentioned in the report, what is verified? I cannot say things that we did not verify. Thank you. 